Welcome back to A to Z FinTech, the podcast where we break down the ideas, people, and technology shaping the future of money. I'm Aman, and with me is my co-host Zubin. Today, we're doing a quick mini-sode, something that Google just dropped, the Agentic Payments Protocol, or AP2. Zubin? Thanks, Aman. First off, let, let's take a little step back, right? We dove into what was essentially Model Context Protocol, or MCP, in Episode 7. But as a quick refresher, think of MCP as a USB port for AI, or even better, as the universal adapter for AI. And, and just as a physical adapter allows different plugs to fit into different outlets, MCP provides the standard way for AI to plug in and interact with resources, tools, and prompts, regardless of the underlying technology, aka the RTP framework from my masterclass. Without MCPs, an agent would be operating in a vacuum, unable to access the information required to complete a task. Exactly. Thanks, Zubin, for that quick refresher. And we'll add the link to the MCP masterclass below for easy reference. But what about the agent-to-agent -agent protocol or A2A? It seems to be an alphabet soup in AI. I'm glad we called ourselves A to Z. So yeah, tell us a little bit about A2A. Love it, love it. Three-letter acronyms are the thing. If MCPs were about memory, A2A is about conversation. Now think of A2A protocol. It kind of provides the standard language for agents to talk to each other, even if they're from different companies or different platforms. It allows them to discover each other's capabilities, work together on a complex multitask sort of system to basically fulfill a customer's or a user's request. Now imagine a travel agent bot collaborating with a hotel booking bot, right? Like A2A is what enables that seamless teamwork. Now, Zubin, our former colleagues at Google Pay have been busy. And today they announced Agentic Payment Protocol. I want to make sure I get this right. AP2. Why do we need a payment-specific protocol for AI and Agentic? Love it. So we've talked about MCP. We talked about A2A. But neither of those were built for the security and accountability financial transactions require. They just lack the mechanisms to prove an agent's payment instruction is authorized, like creating this sort of trust gap that can compromise a transaction's legitimacy. So what AP2 attempts to do is bridge this gap by using secure digitally signed agreements to create this clear chain of trust and authorization for every agent action, essentially. Now, what this does is ensures that any agent-led payments are transparent, secure, and really solves that fundamental problem of how to enable safe commerce, especially in the AI world. Yeah. Zubin, as part of today's announcement, Google also highlighted a collaboration with over 60 partners, including Gravy, which is your day job. Why is this so important? Think of the future of the agentic commerce really depends on open standards and collaboration. Now, we've seen a bunch of proprietary payment systems. OpenAI reportedly talked about developing one for Chap GDPD, really risk creating these walled gardens that could essentially lock down the ecosystems. For payments to truly be frictionless, agents from different systems must speak the same language. And I kind of akin this to the ISO 8583 International card standard, which all the payment card networks were used. So whether you're Visa or MasterCard, you're operating under the same protocol. Open protocol for AP2 essentially allows the entire payment system, including banks, payment uh, processors, payment orchestration platforms like ourselves, to essentially integrate and work seamlessly together. You know, I kind of go back to this point of what OpenAI, we talked about this, but it prevents the single entity from controlling agentic-led commerce and really fosters innovation and competition while ensuring consistent, trustworthy experience for everyone. You know, Zubin, the developments in the space are just so dynamic and so incredibly exciting. It's just not about one company or one AI. It's about building a foundation for new era of commerce. True leadership won't be about who builds the best agent in a silo, but really who can bring the entire payments and technology industry together through standards and collaboration. It's early days, but what we're seeing from OpenAI, as you just mentioned, is the first few bricks of a payments wall guard. Think of it, if you'd like, as iOS for commerce and payments. On the exactly. other hand, the announcement today from Google is the equivalent of an open standard, or if you'd like, the Android of commerce and payments. Both have a role to play. This is just the beginning of an exciting future where commerce is more intelligent, more secure, and more seamless than it's ever been before.
game on. Thanks for tuning in. 